Hi there, I'm Ashley Hunt, Senior Project Management Instructor here at Stormwind Epic Live. And guess what I just found out? Project managers are in high demand in 2016. Now, I didn't actually just find this out, but I thought I'd put together some information for you for those of you that are thinking about taking on and gaining your PMP certification or if in fact you're already certified and you want to maintain your credential. So I was doing some research online and I definitely wanted to take a look at why certified project managers are in such high demand in 2016. So I started looking at insights and trends online and I discovered that 80% of high performing projects are led by certified project managers. That's why the PMP certification is so important in a lot of organizations, or if you're seeking work, it is one of the qualifications to have a certified project manager that they're going to go ahead and hire. So yes, project managers are in high demand in 2016, but they've been in high demand for a lot of years going back to 2010. So I took a look at the Project Management Institute's report that they put out in 2013 that was taking a look at the trajectory of project management as a career between 2010 and 2020. And basically, they are definitely reporting that that trajectory of growth will continue. It will grow to over $6.6 .6 trillion dollars. U.S. dollars, the global economy will see 15, over 15 million new project management roles created in seven very specific project intensive industries, which a lot of you probably find yourselves in, including IT, architecture, finance, and so on. So certified project managers will increase, this is what they're projecting, 13.4 million jobs or project managers between 2010 and 2020, numbering more than 41.5 million globally by 2020. And the median practitioner salary today in 2016 is $108,000 minimum. There are some sectors that have high demands for certified project managers right now in 2016, and that's finance, construction, and healthcare, although IT was also in the list, construction as well as architecture definitely on the list. So it doesn't really matter what industry you're in. If you're running projects, then being a certified project manager can help you attain your project goals. Overall, how do you get certified? Well, let's say you haven't yet gotten your PMP certification. Well, you do have to be able to document certain hours working on projects, which I'm sure you all have. If you are a college graduate or higher, they're looking for 4,500 hours. That's about five years. And if you're a high school graduate or GED, they're looking for more actual work hours, 7,500 or five years. They also, being the Project Management Institute, wants you to attend training. So if you take a course like our PMP program here at Stormwind Studios, you'll get all 35 of the absolute have to have 35 hours worth of project management training. This will guide you through what information you need to know to pass the exam, great templates that you can use and best practices that you can implement right away on your job. Obviously, you have to pass the exam and you have to maintain your credential every three years with 60 professional development units. It's basically hours of education in the realm of technical, leadership, industry specific. You do get credit for just doing your job every single day, but you'll need to maintain your credentials. If you're already certified, We've got lots of great things coming in 2016 to help you maintain your certification and get more in-depth in information on things like risk, scope, time, cost, human resources, and so on that are compartmentalized in the categories of the Project Management Institute's talent triangle. So if you're already certified, definitely check those out so you can maintain certification. The exam itself, if you haven't yet taken it and you're gearing up to, is, yes, the most difficult non-technical certification exam in the world, but it's very prestigious and there are definitive ways to take and pass this exam the first time around. First thing is to take the training. Take an exam prep class with us. You'll get great exam tips. You'll get all the information. You'll practice exams. You'll have mentors available 24-7 to answer questions 
but you will have to study. You can't just take a class, walk out, and pass the exam the next day. It's intensive, so you'll have to take practice exams and really do your own homework to ensure that you pass. You'll know immediately that you passed or not, and you'll get a printout of those results. You do have three opportunities to take and pass the exam in a one-year span of time, but it's expensive. So the goal really is to take and pass that exam the first time around so you don't have to pay for it a second time. Now, as we look forward into 2016 and some of the changes that have been made, you might have heard that the exam has been updated. As of the 11th of January, 2016, the exam has now been updated based on a role delineation study done by the Project Management Institute about the different roles and responsibilities that project managers have in today's project world. So all of the content has been updated so you have the most up-to-date information to to take and pass the exam. You can look up more information at www.pmi.org. That's the Project Management Institute's website, and it's got tons of great information on what it takes to get certified, all about the PMP exam. There's an exam content outline, so you're ready to go and take class and then pass the exam. The exam itself is 200 questions. It's a big exam, but it is multiple choice, and you do have four hours to answer all of those questions. So that's plenty of time to answer all 200 questions. And in class, I go over some great ways of saving time and making sure that you're utilizing that four hours appropriately. So what is your New Year's resolution? If it is to get PMP certified, please let us know. We're happy to help. But hopefully this gave you some new information about why project management is such a growing best practice and process and certified project managers are in such high demand. What's your New Year's resolution for 2016? Hopefully it's to get PMP certified or come back and maintain your certification.